Today we are going to explore capacity. Capacity is how much of anything can fit into a container. We are going to use cups and bowls and bottles and water today. That's why I'm wearing shorts, so I can get wet. The first thing I want to look at are these two bottles. This bottle is bigger and this one is smaller. This one can hold more water because it is a bigger container. Now we are going to do some experiments to explore this even more. For my first experiment, I need three glasses and some water. I'm using a baby bathtub full of water. I'm going to fill up my little cup here, and I'm curious how many times I can pour water from the little cup into the big cup. Help me count. One, two, Oh, it's almost to the top. And three. Oh. But if I pour it all in, it overflows. So two full cups of water and a half of one. Now I wonder what happens when I use this medium-sized glass. Let's see. Help me count. One. And two, oh, and now it's overflowing. So one full glass and maybe half a glass more. And in this one, we already know that it can hold one glass of water. So our biggest cup is this one because it can hold two and a half cups of water. And this one can hold one and a half. And this one by itself is just one. You can also do the same experiment with bowls. I have one little bowl, a medium bowl, and a big bowl. Which one do you think holds the most water? The little bowl, the medium bowl, or the big bowl? Let's find out. Ready? One. This one holds one little bowl of water. This one, one, two, three. It holds three little bowls of water. Okay, now time for this big, huge bowl. I wonder how many little bowls of water will fit into the big bowl of water. It's going to be a lot of counting, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's starting to get very heavy, I'm noticing. The more water I put in, it gets heavier. So that's five, six, seven. Eight. Oh my goodness, I can no longer hold it without putting it down. We were at eight. So now we are at nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, it's at the very top. And twelve. Now it is overflowing. My goodness. This one held one little bowl of water. This one held three little bowls of water, and this one has a lot more. My goodness. I'm going to pour it back in here. For this next experiment, I'm going to use my big glass, my little glass, and a measuring cup. I am going to fill this measuring cup all the way to the top, and I'm going to pour it into this little glass. Do you think it will fit or not fit? Hmm, if I look at them side by side, I see that there's a lot of water in here and this looks kind of small. But let's find out. Oh no, it's overflowing. There was more water in the measuring cup than in the little glass. Let's try that again and this time we will use the big glass. Again, I'm going to fill my measuring cup all the way to the very top. 
and pour it into here. And do you think it will overflow or not fill up all the way to the top? Or maybe it will be equal. All right, I'm going to get pouring here. Mm, it's at the very top. This time there's a little bit less water left in the measuring cup. But I'm going to pour it still and we'll see what happens. It overflows. That means there's more water in the measuring cup than can fit into the glass. So the measuring cup has a bigger capacity than the large glass. For our last experiment, we are going to fill up this big bowl with water. But which one do you think would fill it up quicker? The little glass or the big glass? Hmm, I remember that the little glass did not hold as much water as the big glass. So I think it would be quicker to fill up the bowl using the big glass. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now it is overflowing. It took six big cups to fill up this big bowl. I wonder how many times it would take to scoop water using this little cup. Shall we try it? Okay, I think it's gonna be a lot more than six. What do you think? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, and now it's overflowing. Twelve, twelve scoops using the little glass. So which one filled it up quicker? This one took 12 and this one took six. Good, this one filled it up quicker. This was the better choice to fill it up fast. The best way to learn about capacity is to explore. So you can gather bowls or cups and glasses and measuring cups and get some water or some sand and just explore and have fun. You can even do it in the bathtub if you want or outside in a little pool, or you can use a sandbox. You can get very creative, but it's a lot of fun to just pour and see which one has more and which one has less. So go explore, go have fun, and show me what you learn. Bye.